you can use Joulescope to measure inrush current. Joulescope interfaces with the official USB software to make it one of the easiest ways to perform unofficial USB 2 inrush current testing. Inrush current is what happens when you connect a device to something that's already operating, like your computer, in the case of USB. The device has some capacitance, and that voltage on the device is going to be at zero, where the supply voltage is going to be at some voltage for USB, that's 5 volts. The instant that you connect it in, the capacitor is going to want to charge up to meet the supply voltage. In order to do that, it has to draw a huge amount of current. That amount of current is the inrush current. Devices like USB devices have a specification on how much current they can draw. If they draw too much, they could conceivably take down the supply device, the computer, by drawing too much current so it doesn't have enough energy. Inrush current testing allows us to quantify the amount of current that a device takes when it's plugged in and to make sure that it doesn't affect the source device. Let's perform USB inrush current testing. We have a dual scope connected up already with the USB front panel. And I have a dual scope, an old version, that fails USB inrush current testing. So all we do is connect it up while recording the data. We then go to the user interface, select the region of interest. It has to be at least 100 milliseconds. Then click the USB tool to analyze the data. Wait for the official USB tool to analyze the results and see how the device did. Now let's use a dual scope that passes inrush testing. This is the new beta units. Plug it in, record the result. Do the same thing to send it to the USB tool. And our device passes. Dualscope is a great tool for inrush current testing and interfaces really well with the USB tools to provide results based upon the USB forum's official inrush current specifications.